What's up YouTube? I am Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and I'm very excited about today's video. From a personal standpoint, this is honestly one of the uh, videos out of all the videos that I've done and I am most uh, excited about to present to you guys and the most proud of. Today I'm going to be talking about 10 of the most expensive fragrances in my collection, but I am going to be giving you a cheaper alternative. Uh, the reason I'm so happy about this video is because it took a lot of kind of uh, you know, research on my part, just kind of really looking at notes, uh, taking a look at my collection and seeing what I had. Again, that was, uh, of course, on the higher end uh, as far as price point and then finding something that was uh, what I would consider to, to be very affordable for most people out there. Um, you know, it's funny to me that, you know, uh, immediately if there are two fragrances and they have a very similar profile, people are quick to say it's a clone, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, there's only so many notes that you can use in fragrances. And at some point, if you have maybe four, three to four notes that may be very similar, something could kind of resemble another fragrance. And that's the great thing about it um, at the end of the day as well. So again, I have 10 fragrances, very expensive uh, fragrances, and I have 10 great alternatives. All of the alternatives are under 100 bucks. So this is going to be very, very fun. I hope you guys will enjoy it. So if you want to see what's on the list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump into this video. As I said in the beginning, my name is Darian. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I talk about fragrances and fashion on this channel. So if those two things interest you or one, you know, it doesn't matter. One or the other is cool with me. Uh, consider hitting subscribe and also make sure you hit that bell icon as well so that when I upload new content, you'll get notified by YouTube. All right, so let's get this list started, man. So <clears throat> the first fragrance that I have that I want to uh, to highlight, uh, I think I talked about this fragrance maybe once or twice on the channel so far, and that fragrance is from the house of Roger Dove, and it is called the Agalev. Let's get a look at the bottle. The, bo the bottle is gorgeous, man. You guys know uh, Roger fragrances. The uh, presentation is just immaculate. Now this fragrance retails for one thousand and fifty bucks. Yep, one thousand and fifty bucks. And like I said, I have to make sure you guys understand this. This was a gift from for myself. This was my Christmas gift to myself. Um, so I got this sometime in, in December. I had my eye on, it, eye on it for a while and I finally decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on this. And man, listen, to most people, are they gonna spend that, mu that much on a fragrance? No, uh, there's only so many people that are crazy enough to uh, consider spending that amount of money on a fragrance. But again, uh, <clears throat> something was in my eye I'm sorry but again fragrance is a hobby and you know just some people are into collecting guns or electronics and things of that nature I'm into fragrances so got this for myself beautiful Shepra very traditional uh, very classic smelling very masculine again so this comes in at 1050 bucks so I found an amazing alternative and this fragrance has been around for a long time and this fragrance comes from the house of Aramis and it is simply called Aramis for men. This fragrance right here. This fragrance right here, Aramis. Now this fragrance retails, uh, you can find this, so uh, let me check, $30. The retail price on this is 82 bucks, but you can find it for about $30 on Amazon. I'm gonna try to be good this time, guys, on this video about making sure I link the, down below where you can find these fragrances, but for 30 bucks, you can get a fragrance that is similar. Now, again, is it going to be the exact same? And I want to say that, make that disclaimer about this list. These are not exact clones, but these fragrances that I'm going to talk about are very close or definitely going to get you in the ballpark. It's the same kind of fragrance. It's the same genre of fragrance. And I, these fragrances do share a lot of the same notes. Uh, this fragrance, uh, as any traditional fougere, both of these fragrances have leather, oak moss. So you're going to get a very... Again, very similar overall feel and vibe from both of these fragrances. And again, one costs 1,050 bucks 
and you can find this one for about 30 bucks on Amazon. So they both again have leather, oak moss, musk. There's some different notes in here. This one has, uh, I think uh, the Agalev has, you know, of course, a lot, a lot more notes because most Roja fragrances have a laundry list of notes. But at the end of the day, they smell very similar. They smell very similar. Again, you can smell the quality, of course, in this. And it's not, again, the exact same thing, but it'll get you close enough when you compare the price. So the first one up, guys, for 1050 bucks, you can go with the Agalev. But of course, you can get this right here. It's gonna give you a very, very similar vibe. And again, this is called Aramis from the house of Aramis. All right, guys, so the next fragrance on my list uh, of expensive fragrances this one comes from the house of Fragrance Dubois. Very luxurious fragrance house. Um, I would put them up there with the Roja Parfum of the world as far as elegance and, uh, you know, just overall classic kind of, you know, beautiful presentation, you know, that whole luxury thing they have a lot in common. Uh, but this fragrance is called Heritage from Fragrance Dubois. And this thing retails for $835. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, but we shall see. <laughs> Look, I understand, guys. I'm not telling anybody to run out and buy any of these expensive fragrances. That's why I'm doing this list. I just want to let you guys know that there are alternatives that are very similar, and you don't have to pay anywhere near that amount of money. So Heritage from Fragrance Dubois, 835 bucks. This, this is a beautiful, clean, soapy fragrance, and I know a lot of people don't want to spend uh, that much for a clean soapy floral fragrance, but that's really what this is. The aldehydes in this are second to none, um, maybe only rivaled by Chanel number no. five, but it opens up very clean, soapy, and floral. Jasmine, aldehydes, again, a host of floral notes. Has a nice kind of sweet woody dry down. That's really what this is. So this was one of my most uh, amazing discoveries going through this uh and making creating this video so the fragrance that i would tell you guys to get that is very similar you can find on amazon for about 50 bucks and it's been around since 1989 and i'm very surprised that not many not many other people talk about this fragrance because it is really good for what it is and this is a fragrance called anucci <laughs> this is called anucci and look at the bottle man it's like uh golf balls it's like a smaller golf ball on the top, a larger one on the bottom, and there's a guy holding a golf club on the front. Let me tell you a story about this. So I have a fragrance shop that I frequent, I frequent here uh, where I live, and a gentleman came into the store and uh, he was just talking and going on and on about fragrances and stuff that he likes to buy on a, on a regular basis, and he mentioned this fragrance. And I had never heard of this fragrance and it came out in 1989, 1989. And when I smelled it, I was really, really impressed. Uh, again, it is very similar to Heritage, very similar because it opens up very floral with a jasmine, a host of floral notes, and it has chamomile in here. So while it doesn't have the aldehyde, it still kind of gives that overall clean, fresh, soapy vibe and just like uh, Heritage, when it dries down, you get, they're kind of, both of them are kind of sweet. They have a little bit of wood, cedar wood when it dries down. And uh, this thing is really, really close to Heritage. And it was funny when I was originally doing this list, I didn't really think that it, there were many things that I had that would really rival this or as far as comparing it. Uh, but this is it, man. And I will tell you guys, if you've never heard of Anucci, if you want a clean, kind of soapy floral fragrance but, but has some masculinity to it as it dries down so it's not feminine at all although it opens up with the florals this stuff is really good man again you can get this for 50 bucks on amazon again this one is called anucci so make sure guys that you check this one out this is one of my best discoveries while doing this list all right guys so the next fragrance on my list uh this one comes from the house of roja parfums as you could probably imagine there's some roja on here there's some fragrance dubois uh but this one is called amber Aoud. Amber Oud, and this is a beautiful rose oud combination. It retails for $765. Now, I have a fragrance here now that is similar, and you can find this for about $29 on Amazon, and this is called Ragba from Latafa Perfumes. 
rock but from the top of perfumes now this thing right here is a it, this is sweeter than amber Ayu, but it's going to give you a, a, a really decent amber uh, kind of amber ooh combination for the price point i was really really impressed with this one this was probably my second favorite discovery behind anucci uh as i would compile this list but this one again comes in at 29 bucks on amazon it's gonna give you the oud it's gonna give you the amber uh, again very similar to this now this one is a lot sweeter because it has more of a vanillic kind of dry down where this has more of the oud but again for 29 bucks compared to 765 i think this is a really really good alternative if you look at the colors of the juice they're very similar although of course amber oud is uh, a lot a little bit darker uh but man for the price I think this is a really, really great alternative. So check this one out as well from the house of Latafa Perfumes. This one is called Ragba. All right, guys, so the next fragrance on this list, this one also comes from the house of Fragrance Dubois, and this is called Oud Vert Intense. Oud Vert Intense. Now this one retails for $695. $695, and this is a really clean, green fragrance that's really the best way to describe it i mean all of the fragrances from fragrance dubois have oud but the oud is very very uh well blended in these fragrances so nothing animalic uh, at all about the oud in these fragrances it's really hard to detect it sometimes honestly but again retails for 695 bucks so a great alternative that i found was from the house of cartier and this is the original declaration Declaration from the House of Cartier, and you can find this one right now on FragranceNet for 68 bucks. So again, we're talking 695 versus 68 bucks, and they are very, very similar. Again, both of these are very clean, very green, and very gentlemanly on the dry down. You get some ginger, you get some coriander and bergamot, the three number, uh, notes that they share in the opening of these fragrances. And as they dry down, again, you both get this very nice, clean, kind of woody cedar wood. Uh, of course and you get some vetiver as they dry all the way down so you start to get again that kind of earthiness that clean woody earthiness um, as they dry down man but again very very similar fragrance and you're going to save yourself a lot of money a lot of people don't talk about this one this is a really really solid fragrance uh, they talk about declaration day on soir a lot because of uh, the rose in that one but this is a really solid fragrance as well, and this one was released in 1998. So check this one out, guys, the original declaration from the house of Cartier. It's a great alternative to Oud Vert Intense. All right, so the next fragrance on this list actually comes from the house of Creed, and this one is called Creed Spice and Wood. This one is called Creed Spice and Wood, and this one comes in at a retail of $545. Now, I will tell you, I love Creed Spice and Wood. Uh, it is very, you get this very nice, uh, fruity, fruity opening, kind of spicy, uh, has a, a kind of peppery, spicy opening that blends, blends very nicely with the, uh, uh, the fruits in the opening of this fragrance. And then it dries down, you get that cedar wood and musk. Cedar wood and musk uh, when it dries down. So it's like this nice bed of fruits that's laying right on the top of a nice woody base. I love it. Spiciness in this one as well, very masculine. And a great alternative to this fragrance for around the $35 price point from the house of Bentley, Bentley Infinite Rush. Bentley Infinite Rush. And this one you can find again for around the $35 price point. Listen, very similar fragrance. Again, not exact clones, but very, very similar. And for what you're going to pay as far as the difference in price, it's really, really worth it checking it out. If you like spice and wood, this is a good alternative from the house of Bentley. You get that same you know, fruity opening, that same, you know, kind of undertone of, of, of spiciness from pepper and those cedar wood and musk as well as it dries down. So again, if you like Cree Spice and Wood for about 35 bucks, you can get very close in this ballpark with this one right here from the house of Bentley. This is ben Bentley Infinite Rush. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list uh, comes from the house of Tom Ford, and this is called Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Now, I just did a comparison between this and uh, Bitter Peach from Tom Ford. I'll make sure I link that uh, if you missed that video where I kind of compared the two. But this fragrance in this size, 100 ml, retails for 499 bucks. Primary notes in this fragrance, almond, cherry, 
and tonka beans. Stop me if you've heard that before. A very good alternative to this fragrance is from the house of Guerlain. It's called Loam Ideal. Loam Ideal from Guerlain. So it's the same thing. You get that almond, cherry, kind of tonka bean combination with this fragrance right and here. They're not exactly the same, but they are very similar. Very similar to the point where, of course, if you didn't want to spend 499 bucks for this, I totally understand. Uh, this is a great alternative. And you can find this fragrance depending on where you look for between that $50 to $80 price point. So it'll save you a lot of money if you like cherry, almond, and tonka to go with this one from Guerlain versus this one from Tom Ford. So great alternative to, of course, uh, to Lost Cherry, in my opinion, is this one right here. So just check this out from the house of Guerlain. This is called Loam Ideal. All right, guys, so the next fragrance that I want to highlight on this list, this one comes from the house of Roger Parfums, and this one is called Creation E. And what a beautiful classic fragrance here uh, in the fragrance world. And this one is very boozy. You have, of course, the tobacco, the benzoin, and the booze, the sweet kind of vanilla on the dry down. An amazing fragrance. But again, it retails for $485. So a great alternative is this one from the house of Bentley as well. This is Bentley Intense for men. Now this is very much uh, widely known to be a great uh, fragrance for the price point. But just like Creation E, you get that nice boozy uh, opening, you get a kind of spiciness. Both of them have black pepper uh, in the fragrances as well. Uh, and again, you get that nice kind of warm ambery thing as they start to dry down, a little bit of sweetness in there as well. Uh, now the main difference between these two is Bentley Intense uh, does not have the tobacco note that's in here. But again, I'm not talking about exact clones. I'm talking about fragrances that are very similar, very similar. And these definitely are very, very similar. If you really spray these side by side, you'll really see the difference. I mean, you really see the fact that they are very similar with the exception of the tobacco. But this one again retails for 87 bucks. You can find it on Amazon for about $37 right now. So it is a great alternative to Creation E. So most people know about this one, but I think it's really, really interesting. Uh, to make that comparison so if you haven't yet for some reason check this one out a great alternative to creation e bentley intense for men all right guys so the next fragrance on this list comes from the house of mason francis kirk john and this is baccarat rouge 540 the extract the parfum baccarat rouge 540 the extract the parfum and this one retails for 435 bucks now, I didn't do Creed Aventis on this list, so you won't see that here because it has a lot of clones. And I will say that this one is getting to the point where there are a lot of clones, but I wanted to highlight something that a lot of people don't talk about, something that's very similar to this from the House of Banana Republic, and this is called Rosewood Amour. Rosewood Amour. Every time I look at this, I think there's going to be a, a genie's going to pop out of this, <laughs> going to pop out of this bottle, uh, bottle any minute. But Rosewood Amour, both of them are very similar. Jasmine saffron and amber that those are the commonalities between these two fragrances they're very very similar uh 435 and you're only going to pay about 35 bucks for this one right here so it's a great alternative it's one that a lot of people don't really mention when they talk about fragrances that are very similar to baccarat rouge 540. they're not necessarily a clone uh but this one right here is definitely going to put you in the ballpark of this right here and you're gonna save yourself a lot of money so check this one out if you love baccarat rouge 540 you like that dna but you don't want to spend that money check out rosewood or more from the house of banana republic all right so the next fragrance on my list comes from the house of bond number nine and this one of my favorites this is lafayette street lafayette street this retails for 420 bucks and this one is not as easy to find on discounters it's oftentimes sold out and there's a great alternative. I think this is probably one of the only ones I've mentioned before. Dunhill Desire Red. Dunhill Desire Red. And they both have uh, a beautiful kind of a cord of apple in the opening. And then they have that sweetness of vanilla as it dries down. Some florals in the middle, the mids of both of these fragrances are very similar as well. But again, this is a great alternative to Lafayette Street. So I won't spend as much time on this one because I've mentioned it before. But I talk a lot about this fragrance, guys. It is an amazing scent. A lot of people love it, seem to respond to it. It gets a lot of compliments. And this is a great alternative for the, about the $25 price point. So check this one out from the house of Dunhill. This is Dunhill Desire Red. All right, guys. And last but not least, this last fragrance comes from the house of Amouage. And I just talked about this fragrance. This is called Overture Man. Overture Man. What a complex, boozy, masculine smoky 
incense fragrance which dries down with a nice kind of incensey saffron vanilla kind of sweetness it retails for 340 bucks from Amwaj. a great alternative to this is from the house of john barbados and this is called john barbados rebel rider rebel rider this one is a little is sweeter than the other one i think it's john barbados rebel this is rebel rider and guys this is very very similar to this right here and again this one retails for 340 bucks and you can find this one for about 35 bucks fragrance net as well as on amazon both of these fragrances are very leathery boozy and sweet so you get leather you get amber you get some saffron uh, as these fragrances start to dry down kind of resinous kind of smoky both of these fragrances again not as in, not an exact clone but it's very 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 close and it'll save you a lot of money so if you like this kind of dna and you don't want to spend that kind of money a great alternative to overture man is this one right here from john barbados and this is called john barbados rebel Right. Guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you 10 of the most expensive fragrances in my collection, but 10 great affordable alternatives. As always, I sincerely appreciate your viewership, your time, and your attention to these videos. You don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate it. Now, if you don't mind, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the video if you enjoyed the content. Uh, share these videos out to other folks that you think could use this information or may find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, the Potile Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.